Hello everyone, very good evening and welcome to the Baiju's exam prep, the most comprehensive app for all competitive exams. This is Sanjay Rati and now ISRO 2023 is waiting for you with new pattern. And I am going to discuss uh, very important questions from one of the most important subject that is analog and that is important for electronics and electrical students guys. And I, I will discuss around 20 important questions and in this way you will get the idea about the important topics, important question and how to handle the question during exams. But before starting the session, let me know that sound quality, picture quality, everything is fine. Yes, please inform me that everything is fine then I will continue. Yes, please. Okay, I think now everything is fine. So, so that is simple here. If you want to crack the ISRO exam, right, then go through the new pattern, get the idea about that. Okay, and you have to solve the 80 questions from your technical portion. Okay, and around 15 questions based on what aptitude and reasoning. So, everything is found now, Isita. Okay, very good evening then. So, this is the most expected questions from analog with all question with each question i will give you the description about that right guys and which type of questions they may ask in coming exam right and that's why this session is very important to please like the session and share the link of this session if you are new to this channel then subscribe our channel then this is my introduction myself sanjay rathi this is my teaching experience and these are my achievements i have qualified and selected for engineering services exam air 16 in ac 2005 AIR 21 in ESC 2008. Remember one thing, calculators are not allowed in ISRO exam as well as what in engineering services exam. So last five, four to five years, right, for previous year question paper of engineering services exam, you can solve so that you will get the idea about the conceptual questions. Or a core subject hai, jase microwave, kabhi radar, material science for electronics student right computer organization and architecture ye ek naye topics matlab jo gate ke syllabus mein nahi hai to unke agar kuch question aapko practice karne hai to aap engineering services exam previous year question solve kar sakte hain right no that uh, yesterday uh, rakesh sir have taken one class please attend that class and that is the second second session on that okay kavita so please watch that session now i have trained more than 1 lakh students for these competitive exams and guys, number of students got selection in different competitive exams. Now, for GATE 2024, we are going to start very important session. That is what summer special classes starting from 5th June. Utilize your summer with the top faculties to get the top rank. So, these are the faculties and these are the topics and uh, series guys. So, different series on a single umbrella. And then what is what are the series? Fast track control system and then probability and distribution, super three series by me, Ankit sir will take all about the calculus, Abhyas series by the Saket Verma sir, EMFT, capsule series, communication system by Saket Verma sir and BPL, that is the signal and system. So these are the important series for you. Okay, so start attending the session and subscribe the channel. Then this is the for computer science engineering right guys so utilize again your summer with the top faculties so these are the series taken by the satya sir vishal sir and murli krishna sir for computer science engineering okay okay then isro 2020 so one student asked me what is the what about the series then this is for space achievers isro 2023 for electrical and electronics student most expected question already we have started the series from the 5th june Try to attend the regular classes. Almost the time is what 5 p.m. Okay, and you will get the idea about this session. Then for ISRO and NILET, this is the computer science engineering. Then mo again, most expected question. Again, it will start from what 12 June. Uh, we are going to start one very important series for you because every student wants some trick how to solve question as quickly as possible during competitive exams ye need bhi hai ki aap kitni tezi se question ko solve karte ho isro mein bhi ho chahe gate ho chahe engineering services exam aur har question ko solve karne ke different methods hote 
तो हम लेकर आ रहे हैं आप लोगों के लिए ट्रिको पीडीएफ लेट्स ट्रिक इट फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कंप्यूटर साइंस ब्रांच सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड गाइज डेफिनेटली दिस सीरीज विल हेल्प यू ओके बहुत सारे टॉपिक्स है बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन है जिसको आप देख ही आंसर बता सकते हैं कि इसका आंसर ये होगा आंसर नेगेटिव होगा या पॉजिटिव होगा वॉट आर द लिमिट्स राइट ईच एंड एवरीथिंग अबाउट द पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक्स तो ऐसे बहुत सारे टॉपिक्स आपके इस सीरीज में कवर होंगे देन अब फाइनली टेक ए स्टेप टूअर्ड सक्सेस इन गेट एग्जाम टू वी आर कंडक्टिंग नेशनल स्कॉलरशिप टेस्ट फॉर गेट एग्जाम गेट अप टू नाइनटी परसेंट ऑफ ऑन आवर प्रोग्राम प्लीज नोट द डेट इलेवेंथ जून एट ट्वेल्व पी एम रजिस्टर नाउ फॉर दिस स्कॉलरशिप टेस्ट गाइज ओके Now this is the first question. Just try to understand. This is an analog, and what are the important topics? For analog, the important topics are what diode circuit. First of all, so what are the diode circuit? Rectifier, filters, clipper, clamper, voltage doubler, voltage regulator, and simple diode circuit. Simple diode circuits. I am talking about the analog. So this is a circuit. they will ask theoretical question as well as what numerical question initially what about the marks three marks question but now this time 80 question each question is of one mark but what about the time again two hours in two hours you have to solve the 80 technical questions and 15 non technical or reasoning the question based on reasoning and aptitude okay then what is the clamper circuit now simple clamper means what this is called dc inserter or dc restorer or dc translator that's why what is a clamper it adds or subtract a dc voltage to or from a waveform and does not change the shape of the waveform yes so before clamping and after clamping the sh shape of the output will remain same just i am giving you the example of that okay then watch this if this is the input to a clamper circuit then what will be the output that is the output or this is the output we are getting two types of output here in this case the average level is zero in this case the average level will become vm this is 2 vm this is zero this is vm this is minus vm when we are passing this signal through a clamper circuit through a clamper circuit it will not change the shape of the input simply it will change the dc level of the input so this is the zero this is minus vm and that is minus 2 vm okay so this is called if this is the output then that circuit is called positive clamper and if this is the circuit then it is this is the output then it is called negative clamper So there are two types of clamper circuit. This is also called DC inserter, DC translator, or DC restorer. Okay, so that is about the clamper. So which answer is correct? Both one and two. This is the misprint. Sorry, both one and two does not change the shape of the waveform, and this will add. Now, second one. Now, questions on what offset voltages? So watch the last previous year question paper. offset voltage is offset current bias current input bias current right input offset current so that is the question please try to give me the answer for the operational amplifier shown in the figure the bias currents are 450 nano ampere this is the ib1 and 350 nano ampere the values of the input bias current and the input offset currents are first of all remember operational amplifier is unbalanced we are giving we are giving two separate currents ib1 and ib2 so that without any input the output will become zero so what is the new student give, uh, old student if you have the idea which answer is correct give me the answer for the input bias current and input offset current just i will give you the quick idea about this topic then guys remember in case of this is the case if it is a open loop operational amplifier both the terminal is connected to ground actually we are not getting the output that is not equal to zero 
means we are having some output that is called output offset voltages what is the name output offset voltage when both the terminal is connected to zero but ideally the output should be equal to zero then this is called what unbalanced output that is called unbalanced unbalanced operational amplifier then what we are doing we are passing separate current ib1 and ib2 and finally the output will become what zero and that is called balanced operational amplifier balanced operational amplifier when there is no offset voltages now we are passing the two currents ib1 and ib2 the average value of this is called input bias current average value of this is called input bias current and difference of these two is called input offset current input offset current that is the simple so what is the average value 450 plus 350 450 plus 350 divided by 2 so what is the average value 400 nano ampere and what is the difference 450 minus 350 what is the difference 100 so 100 and you are giving the 450 no 400 and 100 d is the answer D is the answer. Okay. I use average and difference. So why, what is the difference? 50 or 100? 450 minus 350. Calculation mistake. You are doing the calculation mistake then. You have the idea. But you are okay. Please try to avoid the calculation mistake also. So that is the question. Now, guys, with this question, get the idea about what input offset voltage is input uh, output offset voltage right and how we can balance the operational amplifier okay and about what a register that is connected to what non-inverting terminal to reduce the effect of input bias current that is the logic okay next question so just i am giving you the topic guys please try to revise please try to revise all that okay now then 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 what after clamper Right, I will cover the, all the topics, I will cover like what voltage regulator and so on. Uh, guys, remember, bi-stable multivibrator, mono-stable and our stable multivibrator. Especially by using what operational amplifier. Again, this is a very important topic. Now, bi-stable, mono-stable, our stable, most important one is what our stable because it is a square wave generator. So, direct diagram, direct, they will give you the question. For example, that is the circuit. Here, R3 and R4 positive feedback is connected here, negative feedback is connected, but the positive feedback is dominant. That's why we are having the two output, plus V set and minus V set only. And this is a circuit of a stable multivibrator. In the following a stable multivibrator circuit, it name is given in the question, which property of V0 T depend, depends on the R2? Only the frequency, only the amplitude, both the amplitude and the frequency, neither the amplitude nor the frequency. Okay. Now, guys, remember in this diagram, in this diagram, if you are giving a standard diagram, okay, then that is the circuit. And here we are giving the positive feedback. Okay, output is fixed plus V set and minus V set. Highest value is plus V set, lowest value is minus V set. Output amplitude that is like 15 and minus 15. But you can control the time period. Time period of the output is directly proportional to what RC. Time period of the output is directly proportional to R and C. This is R and this is C. Okay. If the time period is directly proportional, means what about the frequency? Frequency is inversely proportional to R and C. Because frequency is equal to 1 by T. Means frequency depends upon the value of R and C. Okay. Now, if suppose you are connecting the extra register here. And definitely it also depends upon this register. Why? Because the current will pass through this. 
right it also depends upon the then there are two register r and r1 so that is the r1 plus r in series and that's why amplitude of the output is independent of that register because amplitude is fixed plus v set and minus v set means which is depend which depends upon the output only the frequency only the frequency depends upon the r1 this r this r1 and this r2 extra register is connected with in series with what c so that is the value so this is always remember first of all they will ask what is the name of the circuit a stable multi vibrator then so this is another question next one next question guys the now this is the integration of what integration of digital and what analog here we are using what nor gate here we are using again nor gate this is nothing but a inverter inverter and this is one r and c is connected when this capacitor will charge through this register and here we are giving the trigger signal v in it may be positive trigger or it may be negative trigger now as you know in a nand in nor gate if any one of the input is one any one of the input is one output will be zero any one of the input is one output will be what zero now i just i want i am not going to explain the complete function of the circuit what is this bi stable multi vibrator symmet trigger mono stable multi vibrator and a stable multi vibrator if you want the detail about all these then please tag me on what my telegram channel that is electronics by sanjay rati so definitely if you want suppose to take the screenshot send the screenshot to my telegram channel in next session i will explain that particular topic okay anyone if you want some explanation anything then please give me the feedback because quickly i have to cover the number of questions and just i am going to share the telegram link with you please give me the answer okay then jisko bhi koi bhi doubt lagta hai kisi bhi topic mein aapko doubt hai to aap simply mujhe स्क्रीन शॉट लीजिए मेरे टेलीग्राम चैनल पे टैग कर दीजिए सर एक्सप्लेनेशन चाहिए इसका यस और साथ में मैं एक्सप्लेन करूंगा जितना यहां पर पॉसिबल है ओके देन दिस इज माय टेलीग्राम चैनल लिंक ओके यू कैन जॉइन नाउ नाउ गाइस वन आर एंड सी इज कनेक्टेड इफ द देर इज नो कैपेसिटर देन नॉर्मली दैट इज अ बाई स्टेबल मल्टी वाइब्रेटर बिकॉज बाई स्टेबल हैज टू स्टेबल स्टेट or in a stable multi vibrator that is called free running multi vibrator no need to apply any what input right for example in a previous question no terminal for to give the inputs but here we are giving the inputs we are applying the trigger as well as we are using the register and capacitor in bi stable we are not using the register and capacitor no need to use the timing elements then what is this it is a mono stable multi vibrator mono stable multi vibrator for example in this diagram we are not giving any terminal to provide the inputs that's why it is a a stable multi vibrator rc is connected here okay that is the mono stable multi vibrator bilkul sahi see yes harish your answer is correct now oscillator again remember guys oscillator is a very important topic for isro exam bar question criteria what are the practical consideration uh what is the loop gain that is the mod of a beta should be equal to 1 total phase shift around the loop through the forward path through the feedback path it should be multiple of 2 pi that is the 360 degree so everything now here the oscillator circuit shown in the figure has an ideal inverting amplifier so ideal inverting amplifier means it has 180 degree phase shift it may be op amp it may be bjt or it may be what fet so it will provide 180 degree phase shift and the remaining 180 degree phase shift is given by this rc phase shift oscillator so this is nothing but rc phase shift oscillator rc phase shift oscillator so 180 plus 180 total 360 degree one rc network one rc network will provide approximately 60 degree 60 60 60 plus 60 plus 60 is what nearly equal to 180 degree now the standard answer for this question is what that is the oscillation frequency that is asked in what hertz 1 by 2 pi root 6 rc 
वन बाई टू पाई रूट सिक्स आर सी इफ इट इज इन रेडियन पर सेकेंड इट इज आज दिस इज द आंसर इन रेडियन पर सेकेंड राइट रिमेंबर ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू वॉट टू पाई एफ नॉट Here f naught is asked. What is the f naught? Omega naught by two pi. And this is the omega naught actually. And that's why A is the correct answer for this question. Read question carefully. So, guys, now try to understand. What are the topics from the oscillators? Oscillators means what? All type of oscillator. Please quickly revise the oscillator. Especially what? Uh, wind bridge oscillator. I will solve one question on that. or uh, rc phase shift oscillator by using the bjt by using what fet what are what is the condition for oscillations for bjt for fet and for operational amplifier colpit oscillator simply get the formula or uh, that is the hartley oscillator simply get the formula for that okay and crystal oscillator that is the crystal oscillator that is called radio frequency oscillators and this is what audio frequency oscillator now now what is the for the oscillator circuit shown again it is a oscillator square wave generator is also called oscillator expression for the time period of the oscillation what is this tell me a stable monostable or bistable multi vibrator what is that what about this diagram for the oscillator circuit shown expression for the time period of the oscillation is no guys already i have solved one question on that it is a example of what a stable multi vibrator are stable and this is nothing but a square wave generator right for you are giving the answer a last question na what is the answer for this one now remember if this is given any register that and that this is the value right then what is the time period what is the time period a stable multi vibrator then what is the time period of the oscillation T divided by two times of two times of this R and this C, which is the two C R C des. Okay, log of one plus this register divided by that register two times of R two by R one. This divided by that resistance. Then what is the C des? C des is nothing but two C. it will become 2 into r into 2c log of 1 plus r by r cancel 2 and then it will become 4 times of rc log of 3 and remember guys calculators are not allowed calculators not allowed no hurry it is not 2 log of 3 it is what because what is the value of the c here already it is 2c so 2 into 2 4 it will become 4 now remember what is the log 3 log 3 is nearly equal to 1.1 log 3 is nearly equal to 1.1 1.1 into 4 that is nearly equal to what it will become 4.4 times of rc it may ask in what isro exam calculators are not allowed remember log 3 log 2 log 3 is 0.69 it is a natural log okay so this is a answer standard answer standard answer for a stable multi vibrator please everyone please revise this formula okay then next one okay are you interested to attend that then please uh, ask your friend to join the session now okay then next one tuned amplifier tuned when i am talking about the tuned amplifier means it is a radio frequency amplifier right radio frequency means high frequency amplifier in place of register we are simply using the tank circuit we are using the tank circuit so that is the, what is the answer for this question you have idea tuned amplifier has a peak output at 2 megahertz and a quality factor of 50 the bandwidth and 3 db frequencies shall be at what values respectively so one the bandwidth is asked quality factor is given peak output at 2 megahertz it is given then what is the cut off frequencies and what is the bandwidth you have to find now new students remember that this is the tuned amplifier we are using resistor and inductor in place of resistor capacitor and inductor that is called tank circuit 
that is bypassed This is R1, this is R2. This is V0. This is called tuned amplifier. And the frequency response for that this type of response. At resonance frequency, we are getting the peak. And this is called 3 dB cutoff frequency. This is called resonance frequency. This is F2, this is F1, and F2 minus F1 that is called bandwidth. That is about the tuned amplifier, guys. Okay. So, what is the, the peak? The tuned amplifier is a peak output at 2 megahertz, means 2 megahertz is the resonance frequency. At this point, we are having the maximum gain. At this point, it will become 1 by root 2 of the maximum. 70.7% of the maximum. And that is what, that is called 3 dB cutoff frequency, F2 and F1. Now, F2 minus F1 is called bandwidth. So, this is the bandwidth by 2. When the quality factor is very high, this is a almost symmetrical curve. Bandwidth by 2, bandwidth by 2. Now, if it is bandwidth by 2, bandwidth by 2, then F2 will become F0 plus bandwidth by 2. And F1 will become F0 minus bandwidth by 2. Okay. So, first of all, what is the bandwidth? Bandwidth is F0 divided by Q. Resonant frequency divided by quality factor. So, what is the resonant frequency? 2 megahertz. What is the quality factor? 50. 2 megahertz. 10 to the power 6 upon 50. Now, you can find the value 2000 divided by 50, you will get the 40 into 10 raised to power 3 hertz. That is nothing but 40 kilohertz. Now, once you have the bandwidth, what is the F2? 2 megahertz and 40 kilohertz is nothing but 0 0.04 megahertz. 0 0.04 megahertz. So, 2 plus 0 0.04 means 2.04 megahertz. This is the one cutoff frequency and what is the lower cutoff frequency? 2 minus 0 0.04 that is called 1.96 megahertz. 1.96 megahertz. Okay. So, that is the answer. Now, tell me it is a narrow band amplifier or broadband amplifier? Right. What about the bandwidth? Because the quality factor is very high. Because the quality factor is very high, the bandwidth is very low. This is called bandwidth, very low. So, narrow band amplifier, bandwidth is very low because of high quality factor. Selectivity is very high. That is about the tuned amplifier. Now, next question. So, which answer is correct? Uh, this one. 40 kilohertz, 2.04, 1.96 megahertz. But tell me, is it right? No, 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 no. Is it not right? Bandwidth by 2. Calculation mistake. Bandwidth by 2. Who will do the 2? Bandwidth by 2, bandwidth by 2. Because bandwidth is 40 kilohertz. Now it is divided by 2. So what is the actual answer? That is. Okay. So, take it. In exam hall, who will give you the idea that you are uh, doing the calculation mistakes? No one. So, be careful about the answers, guys. Be careful. So, sometimes because of the silly mistakes, we are losing the marks. So, already I have written the formula F0 plus bandwidth by 2, F0 minus bandwidth by 2, but I am using what? F0 plus bandwidth, F0 minus bandwidth. Just calculation mistake, guys. So, which answer is correct? Now, A is the correct one. Check my calculation. Okay. Then next. Now, that is about the wind bridge oscillator, guys. Okay. So, in analog, wind bridge oscillator is always an important topic for all the competitive exams. Now, try to solve this one. 
in the wind bridge oscillator circuit shown in the figure the bridge is balanced when bridge is balanced when and what is the resonant frequency for this wind bridge oscillator so always remember there will be the number of answers a or b or c or d different types of answer but uh, very tricky question always remember in case of wind bridge oscillator right what are the balance bridge condition this r3 by r4 this r3 by r4 is equal to remember this r1 divided by r2 r1 divided by r2 plus and now remember c c always follow the opposite rule that is related to what register if it is r1 by r2 then it will become what c1 by c2 right if it is r1 by r2 then it will become c2 by c1 plus c2 by c1 right now what is the frequency of oscillation omega naught 1 by root over r1 r2 if these are the different c1 c2 correct so that is the c this is the correct answer so here isro we have very limited time to reset and p muneshwar you have given the right answer for that so in exam quickly we have to solve this type of questions so that is the question on wind bridge also this is a very very important okay tell me it is audio frequency amplifier or radio frequency audio or radio frequency amplifier high frequency or low frequency right wind bridge oscillator highly stable most popularly used oscillator most popularly used oscillator remember so there are two categories of oscillator one is called audio frequency oscillator one is called radio frequency oscillator in radio frequency means high frequency oscillator we are having what hartley call pit crystal oscillator clap oscillator and in audio frequency amplifier we have rc phase shift oscillator and what the wind bridge oscillator so it is a audio frequency oscillator audio frequency all will satisfy the barkusen criteria now triple five timer guys remember triple five timer normally these days we are not getting yes p muneshwar uh, your answer is correct triple five timer we are not getting the question from what triple five timer Right, normally in gate examination but uh, there are two main important uh, two circuits one is called mono stable multi vibrator by using the triple five timer and second one is what a stable multi vibrator by using the triple five timer and we are having around 10 questions 10 important questions on what triple five timer so please revise that formula because in exam in isro they may ask about the triple five timer so this is the triple five timer the function of the diode in the timer circuit shown below is what is the role of the this uh, diode right they, they will give you the answer increase the charging time of the c decrease the charging time of the c increase the discharging time of the c decrease the discharging time of the c now this is a triple five timer i am giving you the very basic concept about that that watch this diagram r a r b and c R A, R B, and what C? When this is the R A, R B, and C, then one minute. First of all, diode is connected parallel to R B. So when we are charging the capacitor, capacitor will charge like that. When the capacitor will charge like that, we are connecting the diode here. This is the polarity of the diode. The current will flow like this. This is plus, this is minus, this is plus, this is minus, this is plus, this is minus. Because of this plus and minus, it is reverse bias. So during charging, the diode will reverse uh, remain reverse bias and it will not affect. And the charging time constant will remain Ra plus Rb into C. Rb into C. But during discharging, that is C. This point, this point is somewhere connected to the pin number 7 of the triple 5 timer. Now, all the pin diagram, what is the pin diagram? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It is a 8 pin IC. 
So remember the use of that eight pin. One is called ground. Two is called what trigger. Three is called output. Four is called reset. Five is called control voltage. Six is called what threshold voltage. Seven is called discharge. And eight is called what supply. So we are giving supply to the eight. Normally, when the fourth pin is not in use, it should be connected toward the supply. If the fifth pin is not in use, that is called control voltage. It should be bypassed through a capacitor. Yes, rule is followed. And this, if this is the capacitor, this is connected to the seven. Means when the capacitor will discharge, then what will be the part? This will discharge to pin number seven. Internally, we are having the one transistor that is on. Then this is called R B and that is called C. The capacitor will discharge like that. If the diode is not present, the discharging time constant is R B C. But if the diode is present, what will happen? If the diode is present, then guys, because we this is the plus minus, because of this plus, the diode is on and the current will flow like this. Current will flow like this through capacitor. It will discharge through diode. And then towards the ground, and it will short circuit the R B. So without diode, what is the time constant R B C? With the diode, what is the time constant zero? So it will reduce the discharging time constant, decrease the discharging time of the C. Very correct. Correct answer is given by Reset and Muniz. Right? Yes, that is the D. Good one. to get the idea other students please get the idea about what triple five timer only i have given only 10 diagrams are important on triple five timer only 10 questions and then you will be able to solve all type of questions next one consider what is the type of the circuit given what is the type of the circuit okay now watch the this is a standard diagram again the pin number 4 is connected to pin number 8 This is R A. This is R B. This is C. Capacitor voltage is connected to pin number two and pin number six. This is connected to pin number seven. Again, the capacitor will discharge through the pin number seven and charge through the R A plus R B into C. Then, guys, this time pin number five is not bypassed. If the pin number five is not bypassed and it is connected to a potentiometer, potentiometer means we are connecting the variable voltage to the pin number five. when we are connecting the variable voltage to pin number 5 pin number 5 the name of the pin number 5 is control voltage it will control the frequency of the output and if suppose any voltage will control the frequency of the output that is called what voltage controlled oscillator to voltage controlled oscillator this is a vc it is a stable multivibrator it will generate the square wave a stable multivibrator but what we are doing we are changing the voltage at pin number 5 and pin number 5 is used to control the frequency of the output if it is not in use it should be bypassed like the previous question it is bypassed pin number 5 through the capacitor but here we are applying the variable voltage that's why the what is the name of the circuit voltage controlled oscillator or voltage to frequency converter Voltage to reach reach it goes yeah <laughs> yes you have given the previous answer you have given the previous answer and that's why I will explain it no problem guys try to understand right always remember one thing it is given if you have the internal diagram of the triple five timer quickly I will explain it then watch this in a triple five timer first of all we have the potentiometer. and then we are having the two comparator and then we are having the flip flop and then here we are having the buffer this is the q bar and this is connected to a discharge transistor okay now this comparator c1 its negative terminal is set at what Two VCC by three. This is nothing but R, R, R. This is the VCC. It is called potential divider. Its positive terminal is fixed at what VCC by three. This is the voltage. Is what VCC by three. Now its terminal. 
Now guys try to understand. Just I am giving you the explanation. This is the RA, this is the RB and that is the C. Now this pin number, this is connected to the discharge pin. This is called pin number 7. These are the internal diagram. This is the RA, this is the RB and that is the C. And this is also connected to VCC. Now we are having the two comparators, C1 and C2. And it's two number terminal that is called trigger. And this is called six number terminal. Both six and two are connected to what the voltage across the capacitor. Two and six are connected to the voltage across the capacitor. Now try to understand, guys. That complete frequency depends the charging of the capacitor and discharging of the capacitor. If let this is the six volt, so two VCC by three will become four volt. VCC by 3 will become 2 volt. Now the capacitor will charge between 2 and 4 volt. The capacitor will charge between 2 and 4 volt because we are fixing the voltage. I can't give the complete explanation because otherwise it will take more than 1 hour. Now try to understand. It will charge between charge and discharge between 2 VCC by 3 and VCC by 3. If the capacitor voltage is connected to what? 2 and 6. And that will decide your on period and off period. This is called on period and that is called off period and total is called time period. And reciprocal of that is called frequency. Okay. But once, once, what is this? This is the, I am giving you the voltage here. This pin is called control voltage. This pin is also available at the output. This is called pin number 5. So if nothing is given here, it is bypassed through the capacitor, the voltage at this point will remain 4 and the capacitor will charge up to 4 and capacitor will discharge up to 2 only and it will switch between 4 and 2. But if you want to change that voltage, you can connect external voltage at the pin number 5. If suppose you are connecting the voltage here 4.5, now guys the capacitor will charge up to what 4.5 and discharge up to what 2 volt. Tell me. Now it will take more time, it will take more time because we are increasing the level. When we are increasing the level, what will happen? Capacitor will take more time for charging, more time for what discharge. What about the time period? Increases. If the time period increases, means frequency decreases. Similarly, at control voltage terminal, you can apply the 3 volt. Now the capacitor will charge and discharge between 3 volt and 2 volt. If the capacitor will charge and discharge between 3 volt and 2 volt means it will take less time. So what about the time period decreases? Then the frequency increases. So with the help of control voltage at the output terminal, we can control the frequency of the output. But if it is not in use, it should be bypassed through the capacitor. Now it is a basic idea about the reset goes, it is clear. So anyone if you want to get the command over the triple five timer, go through the internal diagram. This is the internal diagram of the triple five timer. I have taken number of session on that. Please watch that. Okay. So that is the answer. VCO voltage controlled oscillator. Next one. Quickly give me the answer. Voltage series feedback also called series send feedback results in. So again that four uh, there are four types of feedback mechanism. Voltage series, voltage Shunt, current series, current shunt. So there are four types of feedback. Tell me, voltage series feedback also called series shunt feedback. So always remember in this word we are using the output first, input second. And here I am taking input first, output second. At the output we are sampling the voltage, at the input we are connecting the series connection. It is also called series shunt feedback. So always remember when there is a series connection, input resistance increases. When there is a shunt connection, output uh, resistance decreases. Series connection. So at the input side, series connection. And that's why the input resistance increases. At the output side, shunt connection. And that's why the output resistance decreases. See. So how many students want the detail of that? If you want the detail about the voltage series feedback, please give me the comments. I will share the link of my session coffee with concept. In this uh, just a few days back, I have taken one session coffee with concept voltage series feedback, each and everything about the voltage series feedback.
to go through that coffee with concept and if you want the link then go through my telegram channel or otherwise give me the comments okay so i will share the link with you this is a voltage series feedback there are four types of feedback now remember feedback amplifier is a very important topic so you can voltage series voltage shunt current series current shunt about the feedback right now voltage gain of an amplifier without feedback and with negative feedback respectively are 120 right what is the given with feedback 20 without feedback 100 the percentage of negative feedback beta what is the value of the beta so that is a very very basic question on that so you have to avoid the calculation mistake then remember guys af is equal to a upon 1 plus a beta a upon 1 plus a beta this is 20 is given that is 100 is given 1 upon always use the open loop gain what is the a here 100 into beta now this will become 1 plus 100 beta is equal to 100 by 20 that is the 5 5 minus 1 4 so what is the beta is equal to 4 by 100 what is in percentage multiplied with the 100 that is the 4 percent that is what 4 percent so very very basic question sometimes uh, yaar, you know na, jab bahut sare student hai jo final year mein wo bhi eligible hai so how many students are in final year guys just like a gate exam now you are eligible for what isro examination so final year students also give uh, uh, they can also give the isro exam lekin aapki degree kab tak aani chahiye shayad aap up to August and so on, right? July August तक तो degree सबकी आई जाती है। तो भाई देखो ऐसे भी question आएंगे formula based question। तो आप उम्मीद मत छोड़ो, paper देने जाइए और session attend करो, आपको बहुत सारे expected question यहाँ मिल जाएंगे। आपको बस याद रखना है कि जो 50% 50% का criteria है, वो cross करना है और over aggregate 60% आपका आना चाहिए return paper में, ठीक है ना? तो दोनों section में minimum 50% 50% चाहिए और overall 60% चाहिए। य अब आ जाओ बताइए व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ दिस सर्किट तो ये भी एक आएगा व्हेन वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट द इसरो एग्जाम नोटिफिकेशन आए विद इन टू मंथ्स राइट वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट इन द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई और अगस्त राइट आई थिंक वी हैव गॉट द ना नोटिफिकेशन नाउ यू हैव टू फिल द फॉर्म ओके जस्ट फिल द फॉर्म एंड स्टार्ट योर प्रिपरेशन so this is a cascode amplifier name is given here cascode amplifier common emitter followed by common base common emitter followed by the common base this is called cascode amplifier the common emitter stage has a transconductance gm1 and common base stage has a transconductance gm2 then the overall transconductance of the cascode amplifier now that is a very basic question on cascode amplifier it is a multi-stage amplifier it is a direct coupled amplifier and if the transconductance is asked over all transconductance guys if it is asked then remember that is given by gm is equal to alpha times of gm1 where alpha is the current gain for common base alpha is the current gain for the common base that is given by beta upon 1 plus beta that is for the second stage no? that is for the second stage alpha 2 beta upon 1 plus beta gm1 but normally the beta is very very large as compared to 1 so you can neglect the 1 beta beta cancel so what is the gm gm1 nearly equal to what gm1 so that is the about that class code amplifier this is the a is the correct answer for this question okay so that is the exact formula alpha 2 alpha 2 means the current gain of the common base configuration and then that is the transconductance of the first stage and then multiply it and you will get the answer for this question guys okay so hope so that is also clear to you these are the questions now quickly rapid round quickly give me the answer 
an RC amplifier stays at the bandwidth of 500 kilohertz. What will be the rise time of this amplifier? Right uh, value. An RC amplifier stays at the bandwidth of 500 kilo. What is the rise time? Always remember what is the rise time TR? 0.35 by bandwidth. And that will give you the answer. Please use your calculator and uh, without calculator, guys, calculators are not allowed. So, 0.35 divided by 500, you will get the 0.7 micro second, 0.7 micro second for this particular question. That is the formula for rise time. Okay. Then, next one, which concept? Ravita. Then, second one, uh, there is a, another very important topic that current mirror circuit. Current mirror circuit. That is the direct formula for rise time and now current mirror circuit. In the current mirror circuit, always uh, remember we are using the matched transistor, beta, beta 1000, beta should be very, very large, these two transistors should be identical. Then the output current is the mirror image of the input current or reference current. And output current is forced to equal the input current. So, what is the input current? Always write the KCL or sorry KVL from this point to this point. And you will you can find the answer for this particular question. So zero. This is called I reference, and I output is equal to I reference. I reference into one plus what zero point seven minus five. I reference. 5 minus 0 0.7 divided by 1, that is nothing but 4.3 milli ampere. That is the answer. 4.3 milli ampere. So, what I want to say current mirror circuit by using MOSFET, different types of current mirror circuit, Widlar source, Wilson source, right? Or what uh, when we are changing the area or when we are changing the emitter base junction area, what will be the answer to so, all type of current mirror circuit? Please prepare. That is the, again the important topic for. ISRO examination guys. Now finally one question on what AC analysis? JFAT. Again remember JFAT junction field effect transistor is not in syllabus of what gate examination but it is in the syllabus of what engineering services examination and in ISRO exam they may ask question on what JFAT. Bhai ab ek baat batao purani devices ko kya sab ko phek diya hai kya? Purani devices, purane satellite abhi bhi ghoom rahe hai. पुराने डिवाइसेस को अभी भी हम लोग यूज करते हैं तो पुरानी डिवाइसेस में क्या लगा होगा जेफेट लगा होगा तो अगर आप जेफेट का नॉलेज नहीं है तो आप उसको टैकल कैसे करोगे नया तो बनाओगे लेकिन पुराने को भी तो चलाना है तो प्लीज गेट द आइडिया अबाउट द जंक्शन फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर ये देखो द पैरामीटर्स ऑफ द जेफेट इन द फिगर आर जीएम 1 मिली एंपियर पर वोल्ट ड्रेन रेजिस्टेंस 50 यू नो नेगलेक्टिंग द इफेक्ट ऑफ द कैपेसिटर फॉर एसी एनालिसिस the small signal AC voltage gain for the circuit. You have to find the gain, very simple. And here guys, remember, we are giving input to the gate, we are getting the output from the drain. That's why it is a common source configuration. And for common source, the phase shift is 180 degree. Just like a common emitter. And that's why answer will be negative. And that's why these two answers are not correct. Answer should be negative. Answer should be negative. So, it is a MCQ, multiple choice question. So you can select out of four, these two are wrong, then you can choose out of these two. Okay. But there is a negative marking minus one third, remember. But we can take calculated risk here. Now, for this diagram, you can use what is small signal model. What is the small signal model here? This is the small signal model. Now that is connected to ground and then I will give you the shortcut. This is the gate terminal. Here we are connecting the GM VGS. Parallelly small RD is connected and the source is connected to ground. This is the drain terminal and for AC analysis make this zero. From drain this capacitor will act as short circuit during AC analysis. From drain to ground, because this is zero, drain to ground 60 kilo ohm, drain to ground 60 kilo ohm, these are connected. 
you can connect that 260 kilo ohm register here 60 60 and what is the value of the rd is given 15 ohm 15 and in this point this is connected this is called vi and this voltage is called vgs vi is nothing but equal to vgs so what will be the output here upon input that is called gain so these three registers are in parallel 60 parallel with 60 is 30 and 30 parallel with 15 is 10 kilo ohm. The total resistance is 10 kilo ohm. Then you can write minus GM VGS into 10 kilo ohm. That is the parallel combination of small RD, RD and RL. Upon what? What is the input? VGS. Input is VGS. So what is the answer? Minus GM into 10. Minus GM into 10. What is the GM? 1 milliampere per volt. It is in kilo ohm, it is in milliampere. Answer is minus 10. Answer is minus 10. Okay, that is the answer. Okay, the students, you can directly apply the formula. If you have the standard diagram, what is the answer for this question? Minus GM, small RD parallel with capital RD parallel with what RL? What is this? This is called RL. This is called RD. And then small RD is the internal register. So directly you can use minus 1, 15 parallel with 30, parallel with 30 and you will get the answer within seconds, minus 10, minus 10, okay. So guys, I think we have solved a number of questions from the uh, circuit. That is about the analog, but again, the analog is a very vast subject right now. In which subject you want session? Uh, because uh, one, uh, one important subject for electronics student, that is what microwave. And one is what important subject, electronic devices and circuit. Microwave, that is not in the syllabus of gate exam, but it is important subject for, for ISRO examination. Okay. No, it is a, yes, it is a common source, no? Because we are taking the output from the drain and we are giving input to what source? That's why it is a common source amplifier. We are giving input to gate terminal. We are getting output from drain terminal. It is a common source. 180 degree phase shift. Okay. So guys, this is all about the analog. And again, we have some important topics. Already I have given diode circuits. Prepare that diode circuits. Okay. And prepared what AC analysis or what BJT high frequency analysis of BJT and MOSFET that is for electronics student not for electrical student high frequency analysis right okay feedback amplifier power amplifier some questions from power amplifier class A class B class AB amplifier push pull power amplifier what about the efficiency of class B and class A please prepare all these topics okay and then again on app so please uh, subscribe or uh, uh, join our app you have installed by use exam prep app no, then please install the app and I'm going to take what ISRO uh, is specific is uh, for ISRO based series. Pura waha par ISRO ke upar ek series aari jis mein main teen subject network, digital or what analog ke questions aap logo ko solve karwaunga. So aur bhi bahut sare questions solve karenge. Isi month mein agle week se start hoga. So you are on Baiju's exam prep and then please subscribe the channel, like the session and share the link of this session. Thank you and good day.